Yeah, good afternoon. So we'll continue from where we stopped the last class. And um, I can remember vividly someone asked a question, how uh, how would they determine uh, subject complements and how can they differentiate between subject complements and uh, object or object complements? And I'll uh, try as much as possible to present what is like, which uh, expressly what um, define what a subject of a verb, a subject complement, what it's all about. So basically, you look at the example on the board. Now, example of the expressly says that Oluwashion is my what teacher. Oluwashion, huh? you have all the subject here, but is what is my teacher. Now, how do you know that what that it's what subject complements? Yes, my what my teacher complements what this subject. Okay, from the notes you are seeing there. So this what this is the complement here. So my teacher, sorry, let me underline this way. My teacher hmm? here complements what the what the subject. So we can see what subject what complement and as well as what uh, the subject which is what which is what my teacher. Mm -hmm. goes along that what, what with the complements, which is of my, what, my teacher. So it's a subject complement. You can't separate the what, the subject from what, from complement, and you can also separate what the complement from, from what, from the subject. So that is how what you tend to know what subject or subject complement. Now, we're not looking to look at what the object, what object complement. Objects. Complement. Now, example of that is under the object complement is uh, I gave Yemi the money. I gave Yemi the the money. Now. When you see, I gave Jamie what the money. Now look at the first word, which is your what, which is your subject, which is pronoun I, right? Now look at the position of your what of your verb. Now look at another what, another noun here, another noun, which is what a name of a person, Yemi. Do you get it now? So this noun. And look at the word, the complement that precedes the word immediately, which is what the D. I get now. So for you to for you to for you to determine your what your uh, object complement, you must always have another word, another word, another object that are very close to what what to what to the complement. Like what what you are actually seeing here, Yemi. Now immediately after the Yemi, you have your what the complement, which is what, which is money. So as such, you see that. This is what this is, uh, object what object complement. Okay, now you need not to determine from what from this uh, your first subject here. Now you look at it from the perspective of the object of what of the uh, of the object the name stated here. Then you look at what the complement what in it. So I saw you have what sub so, uh, object what object complement. Okay. Now, another one that we also look at under what functions of what of in that phrase, we have a, a complement of acquisition. Complement of what of acquisition. And especially you see what is here that uh, when the now phrase occurs after a preposition, when a now phrase occurs after what after a preposition. And what do you mean by preposition? Preposition can be a word. I mean. Once I've gotten this, a position to a proposition. And what do you have there? We said what? We said uh, complement of a word of a preposition. When a noun phrase occurs after a preposition, you know your proposition, your proposition can be what? A word or group of words or word that appears before or before a noun phrase. A word that appears before a noun phrase, you know, uh, they can be what it can be a group of what or what that points to what to direction or that points what to something. 
e.g., we have your what you're on, uh, what uh, example, what our preposition, we have your what you're at, mm? we have your what you're in, right? We have your what beyond, we have your what you're at. So I can hear you. You need to determine whether that it's functioning as well as a preposition or it's also what functioning as well as a, well as a conjunction. Don't forget, conjunction are, 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 are what used to link what two simple sentences what together. Your conjunction can be used to, uh, to link or join two simple sentences what, what together. Are you getting it now? Now, haven't taken, haven't, uh, haven't take look at what I want to mean by a uh, uh, preposition. So it is very important that when you're talking about complement of a preposition, when the now phrase occurs after a preposition, now that means that what for you to determine that oh this part, uh, this particular what uh, classification of what of what false what in a now uh, under what other now phrase. That now phrase must appear after what a preposition. So that is why I had what taking matter to list out some examples of what or preposition what to you. Now, uh, when you determine your now phrase, after you have determined your now phrase, then you look at the word before the now phrase. Because that's what the definition is saying. You look at the word before the now phrase, whether it's it what whether that particular word is a preposition or not a preposition. Is a preposition that would have said that what you have what a uh, complement of what of a preposition that was the grammatical name, which is now phrase and the grammatical function is now what complement of what of a preposition. So let's quickly look at an example what to that under what complement of what of a preposition. But that complement of a what of a preposition will have uh, the man sees beyond. You can see that, yeah, that beyond. Okay, sorry, let me just. The man sees beyond the ordinary. The man sees beyond the. Now, the man sees beyond what the ordinary. The man sees beyond the ordinary. Now, if you have to determine the word, the phrase here, the now phrase here, you start from here, right? Hmm? Now you have your word what uh, beyond used here. Now from the definition, it clearly said that the what the now phrase must come hmm, before what the preposition. Now if you look at the word of if you look at the prepositional word, word used here, you see what here is what is the preposition which is of beyond. Beyond here is what is the preposition, whereas what the now phrase is what is this. All right. Now you shall have to determine what the grammatical what grammatical function of what of this now. Like let's say that this word is what is being underlined, or you have to determine the classification of what of this word. You have what to what to be what to be a what a now what a now phrase. Now, if you are not to determine the what the uh the function of what of this now phrase, it should not be what complement, which is complementing what this. Complement of what of preposition what beyond without grammatical what sorry without grammatical you have grammatical function it will not be what complement complement of what of what of a uh, preposition you know I said it's beyond it was preposition complement of what of preposition what let me just shut in here preposition what beyond but under what you know, you'll be, uh, you'll be allowed to give what, uh, you'll be giving uh, multiple choice for questions. But under what, if you have to what, to write it out, you must put it in what the vital comma. The essence of the vital comma, saying that you are making emphasis on what, on the preposition, okay? 
you are making emphasis on what on the preposition. Now, another one again is our other word, a function of what of a noun phrase. We're looking at what subject of a verb, subject complement, object of a verb, object complement. Then we will look at what complement of what of a preposition, complement of what of a preposition. So another one you will be examining now is what is a uh, uh, is a um in a position to what to a noun. We'll be looking at what in a position to a noun. How, how a noun phrase can function in what in a position to a noun. So, pardon me. Let's also look at the word a position. What do we mean by a position? Because it is when you understand some of the principle behind this thing that is when you can actually what apply it appropriately. What do we mean by what by a position? A position. A position means what? Means width or side what? Side by side. Okay? Just the same way we we'll look at what? So uh, one of the key words. We're talking about what? Uh, complement of what? Of a preposition. Now look at what preposition is. Looking at the definition of preposition. So I think in a position to what? To a noun. We're talking about what? In a position to a noun. It is very pertinent for you to look at the word for so what to mean by what opposition itself. So you understanding the word opposition. So when we are not giving an example to explain uh, to explain uh, in opposition to a noun. Don't forget your noun. Your noun normally is a name of person, animal, place, or things. Yeah. So when that in opposition to a noun, that means that what the word must be what width or what side word by side. That means that what the noun. Will be will, the now can be what with or the now will be position what side what by what by side. So it's very very what important for you to know this a position. Now, when I say that what a now phrase functions in a what in a, a function in a, a position what a now. What do you mean by that? That simply means that's it. That's simply means that in a position to a now a now phrase is said to be in a position to a now when the now phrase. When the noun phrase and the noun refer to the same person or thing, that means that what when I say a noun phrase is in a position towards a noun, that means that what the noun phrase itself is also what the same thing as what as something that you you be what you be referred what to, and you can liken this to that of uh, your subject what complement. Where, whereas you cannot you cannot differentiate your what your subject. From what uh, from your from the complement or you cannot differentiate what the complement for from the subject. Now, given this in a position to a noun, now the action of what of the noun, mm, it's what it's also referred. You can also refer it for what from another what another noun. Be what be, uh, be, be stated in what in uh, uh, in a position to a now. A good example to that clearly stated here. We have a. Uh, in the sentence, uh, some wo, some wo, olu, sorry, by the comma, but it not it could be what in all cases anyway. Some wo olu, some wo olu comma. Someone the governor, the governor of Lagos. Someone the governor of Lagos. Someone the governor of Lagos. Someone the governor of Lagos. Has traveled to China. Travel to has traveled to to China. Comma, please uh, to close the word inverted comma and I add at my word my comma at the same time. The now phrase oh that should be okay. The now phrase. 
سؤول نفرس و سؤول نفرس سؤول Okay, the nafres uh the nafres uh I think there's a mist of it. The nafres uh sawu sawolu sawolu is is in a position is in a position a position to the governor. Okay, this is the, please take to this correction. This this was this is the correct version of what of that example. And what does it simply mean is that what Sawolu, the what the governor of what of Lagos what of the governor of Lagos has traveled to what to China. Sawolu, Sawolu, the governor of what of Lagos has have traveled to what to China. Now the now phrase Sawolu. Now look at the word now phrase here. Sawolu. Now, is it what is it in a position to work to governor of what of Lagos? Is what is in a position to work to the governor of what of Lagos? So that is why I said that what the now phrase in a position to work to another now. Now, this this is what the first now, right? Now, this is what the second was the second now. Are you following now? This is the fourth now, and this is what this is the second what second now, please. And nobody for them to ask questions. Maybe that's why I for so that they should get this very, very clear. When talking about in a position to what to in now. Please, do you have any question on this? In a position to in now. Ask. No, sir. But do you get the uh do you get the the principle behind it? Yeah. Yes, sir. So, can you give me an example to this? Can you formulate an example from your own end so that to justify the fact that you actually understand this? What I'm talking about in now phrase is in a position to our another now. Looking at the first now and look at this word, the second word, the second now. There, in do you get it now? So, can you just give an example to you so that I will definitely understand the fact that you understood. What is here? One so that a now is in a position, right? Anybody? And I have I have that here. Hello. I'm waiting. Network. All right. Okay. Somebody want to respond? Uh -huh. Hello. Okay, fine. Um, I still want to clear the fact that is there another person that's still having a misconception between that of subject complement and uh, object and object complement? Okay. The difference between that uh, subject complement and object complement. In object complement, you must have another noun. Close to what what to the complement. Please know that you must have what another noun. That's what close to what to the complement. Unlike unlike the subject complement that you only have the subject. Then the next uh, the next that the next word that you see it's a verb. Then you now have what the, the what the complement. You get now. But that of uh, that of object complement, you have what the subject. Then you have what the verb. Okay and you now have what the object. The object is close to what what to the complement. Okay, are you getting now? The object is close to what to the complement. I just want because I think I, I, um, the time was uh, the there was time out the last time, so I need to to explain that. Now, these are what basically the six what uh now uh, functions or what 
of a noun phrase. So, and as I've said before now, you do need to look at the what the where the word is coming from. It's it a phrase or what or a clause. Okay. You need to determine whether what it's a phrase or what a clause. So when you have determined whether it's a phrase or a clause, then you now look at what the grammatical function. Now that the grammatical function of that noun phrase, we have what subject of a verb, object of a verb, subject complement, object complement, uh, uh, complement of what of a preposition, then uh in a position to what to another what to another now. So basically, these are what these are the things that you need to know under what under a now what a now phrase. Now moving forward from here, we we'll have another one. Okay, maybe I'll send that slide later. But to this end, do you have any question? No, sir. Now we have what clause. Mm -hmm. The simple form of definition of a clause, or you can't differentiate your clause from your sentence. Huh? You can't differentiate your what your clause from your sentence. Mm -hmm. Your clause, a group of words that what that make what a complete what a complete sense or a complete what thought. Now, if you are looking at your sentence or sentences at the same time, right? Is not far from your words from your clause. Now, why is the clause so important? Clause is so important. We have what we also have now what now clause. We have what the Avabia what Avabia clause. We have what the Ajataba what Ajataba clause. Now, let me go back to the root word. When you understand your grammar from your words from your now that to your preposition, now it will enable you to determine whether a grammatical name is what it's in that clause. Whether it's what it's it's adjectival clause or it's an adverbia what adverbia clause, but of course, in the course of your examination that you're about to take, nobody's going to ask about the functions of what of it. We are just taking the function so that we have what an overview, what understanding of what we mean by what classification of what of words in what in English language. Now, for you to determine that a now uh, this is a now clause. Now, a now must be present in that word in um uh, in the word in the sentence. And you must have a presence of what of a verb in it. Do you get it now? But it might not necessarily what make what make a complete word set, but it will have what the help of what other words for the meaning of the whole sentences what to make what a complete word thought. But what you have to determine that you need to know you need to know that oh, this is a word, this is a noun, right? And in addition, what to the clause? Do you get it now? That is why you have what a noun, what a noun clause. Now, so also, if you go to, you can see some several examples, like we have what uh, an adjectiva from the word adjective. Then how do you all your adjectiva so that it can be well what pronounced and it's definitely what makes sense. Do you get now? From your word adjective, then that means that what in that group of words or the group of sentences, you definitely what an adjective what in it. Do you get now? You have an adjective in it. Then you know, from there, what adjectiva what now? Adjective what clause is what the word the word class itself must be what must be adjective and when it is adjective then you call what then you look at other group of words you try to what, to get the word the classification of which or uh, you tend to what to get the classification through which every other word falls into then that will make what to determine what the grammatical name used either what a now what a now clause adjective clause or Adverbia what adverbia clause. Now, when we talk about about adverbia clause itself, from the word adverb, from the word adverb in your word normal word grammar, you know what an adverb is a word that word that tells what that modify right or that modify what verbs a word in sentences. Do you get now? Now, when I say that word an adverbia, part of the words that you have to determine the word classification. There must be an adverb or more the present word in it. G get it now. Now, if from the word from the other is present, is present, and there must be a clause in it. From that, whether we have our word, adverbia word, adverbia word, adverbia clause. G get it now. But before we go into looking at what, there we know how we also have a relative or relative pronoun. We also have what relative pronoun. Now, from that relative pronoun, that is where you, you use this word to determine who. Whose? 
words. Hmm? Well, all of the time we were learning from them, some, some of these words will start what the same things. Do you get it down? And there must be presence of what or pronoun. Do you get that? So that's that, okay. Is it what a related word, a, a related word pronoun? Do you get now? So all these are prayer, but to start, you could need to look at what what is our what are clause. Oh, okay. So we say what a clause. A clause. Of this word or expression, okay, or expression, right? Now, when you have the word example, example, right? One, we have what uh, it me. Vitamin is going to you a lag. Okay, let me just put that out. Vitamin is what is going to is going to you a lag, right? Now we have your what the subject what here you have your verb you have your course of the action then you have your what your what your preposition and those are what your now what ending it. Now this what this make what a complete what a complete what a complete sense. Now, if you have the underlined word from here, like is, is going to what to unilag, starting from here, is going to what, is going to what to unilag. Now that post a question in your mind, what? Or who, right? Hmm? Is going to what to unilag. You have the presence of your verb here. Functioning what as what as a clause. Are you getting now? But he is going to what to union lag. Who is now what going to what to union lag? The question now is now what? Who is now what is now going to union lag? You have this. Bide me. Do you get it now? It answered what this question's what? Bide me. Think I'll give a room for you to what to ask your question. Uh, I don't want to go beyond that. You asking your what your question. But of course, you also look at what the functions of what of a now what, sorry, functions of what of a what of a now what now clause. It's very, very important. We look at functions of a now clause. But look at the what, look at the genius here. Is that this underlining word is starting from what from a verb, right? This underline, uh, this underlined word is starting from here. From the word verb. Okay, let me cycle it for you to see. It's starting from the word word verb here. Which word? Is going to what to unilag. Now you have your presence of your verb. Yeah. Now it is going to what to unilag. So if you have not what to determine the grammatical name and the grammatical uh, functions here, yeah. I won't say that for now. But if you have any question, please you can ask your question. So by next week, we we'll definitely will treat it beyond this level. On the network. Huh? Okay. Now, since the word, the underlying word is starting from is, look at it. Okay, let me let me just put it this way so that it will be more comprehensive. Now, if you have now to determine what is what is the grammatical name here. Hmm? You put it what to be what to be a now what a now clause. 
Why is it what a now clause? You have the presence of your verb. You have the presence of what of your verb here. You have what the presence of your what of your verb. Okay. You have the presence of your what of your verb. What here? Now, give me the presence of your verb here. Different from going. Now, if you understand the underlining here, now it's a different thing because this is this is general, and this what this not want to be a phrase. Why is it a phrase when ing is ending some particular verb? Then it turns out for because it does not turn out no finite word verb. Now, why this word? It's a word. It's a finite word verb. So now, if the underlining word is the underlining word is is extended to to this point, then this will no longer be what a noun phrase anymore. Rather, it will be what it will be a noun word clause. All right, this word be what a noun clause and. How do you determine that word that it's a noun clause again? Look at what the word word unilag here. And not that the word word unilag again, you can see that this particular word is starting word with a capital letter. Hmm? It is a pointer for that this word is starting word with a capital letter. That is a noun present word in this word, in this group of word of word. So, and this word, a present of word of word of a verb. Do you get it now? So, that is, these are the elements that you can use to determine that this is what a noun word, a noun clause. Okay, that is why I said that you must be very, very good in knowing the classification of each word that make up your word, your sentences. You can see now. You can see now. So, and when you say that this word is a now word, a now clause, you might not ask what is what, though I think your question might not cover that, but then for sake of what knowledge, you might now, what is what, what is the uh, grammatical word, grammatical function? Just like in your word, in your noun phrase, when a noun, uh, when a noun phrase occupies what the fourth position in what in a sentence. So just word and opposite. You know that when a noun clause occupies what the first position, it's first position or second position. The first position what in a what in a sentence. Then its grammatical function function as what as the subject or what of the verb. Hmm? That what that follows what it. Are you getting it now? It functions as what as subject or what or the verb that what that follow. But this in this uh, what is it not even is not even uh, uh, come as well. Of course, at the last. But basically, this is just a, what an example in determining your what your noun clause. In your noun clause, there must be what there must be element of what of a verb or a predicate in your what in your sentence. So that is it. If you have any uh, okay question, if you have question to this end, kindly ask your what your question, and 